Welcome to Gray Union. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, semicircle, and inside the semicircle is a uh, yellow triangle uh, ABC, and this uh, uh, blue circle, which is a tangent inside this, is, I mean, it is inscribed in a semicircle and tangent to the yellow triangle and this uh, semicircle inside. So the hypotenuse of this uh, yellow right triangle is uh, 20 units and the longer leg is uh, 16 and we are required to find the area of the blue circle okay so since we are interested in the area of this uh, blue circle so it is a uh, first to uh, we need to find the radius of this uh, uh, blue circle so but before that, we need to find this uh, the radius of the largest uh, circle. And before that, we should find this uh, this length uh, AB, the shorter leg of this uh, uh, yellow right triangle. Okay, so the length of AB is. Uh, this uh, shorter leg which is so the hypotenuse we need to square this hypotenuse uh, ac square minus a uh, bc square so ab equal to the square root of ac square which is a uh, 20 square minus a uh, bc square which is a uh, 16 square so ab is equal to the square root of uh, 400 minus uh, 256. This gives us uh, square root of uh, 144. And AB gives us uh, 12 units. Okay, so let us imagine that this semicircle is a whole, whole circle and that this CB is 16 and this uh, AB is 12. So since CG is the diameter, then this uh, B to, let's say this is uh, M, B to M is, should be 12 also. And this is an unknown length uh, BG, let's call this as X. So, by cross chord theorem, we have to multiply these two segments as, uh, with lengths of 16 and x. So, 16 times x. It is equal to this, uh, the product of these two segments, a, b, and b, m. So, 12 times 12. So, uh, this gives us uh, 144 is equal to 16x so divide both sides by 16 so x gives us to be 9 so bg is actually a uh, 9 units so bg is equal to 9 units okay uh, so next is we can already find the radius of this uh, biggest uh, semicircle so Let's call this as capital R. So the radius of the larger semicircle. Uh, it is equal to the diameter, which is a uh, uh, CB plus BG divided by two. So R is equal to CB, which is a uh, sixteen plus BG, which is nine over 2 this gives us a 25 25 over 2 or r is equal to uh, 12.5 units okay so we can draw the radius from the center p to e and it is actually passing through the center h of this uh, a yellow circle a blue circle so this is the line so this is actually a 12.5 pe 
okay so but we can represent this uh, radius of this uh, blue circle to be r and downwards also this should be r and uh, this length ph is actually a uh, 12.5 minus r because you need to subtract this r and we actually form this uh, right triangle phf okay okay so since uh, this blue circle is uh, tangent to the this leg of this uh, yellow triangle ab so we can draw a line which serves as the radius also of this uh, blue circle and this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees also and this is 90 also so this is of course this will be 90 degrees also and this uh, length be will be also r okay so we actually form this a square so r this is also r from d to b okay okay so next is we get this uh, length pb so pb pb is actually uh, part of this uh, BC which is a 16 so so BC is 16 is equal to 16 and BC is equal to uh, PC plus PB okay so BC is actually at the leg of this uh, yellow uh, yellow right triangle the 16 so 16 and PC is actually the radius of this uh, semicircle let's uh, we call it R okay so plus PB but R is actually a 12.5 Okay, so 16 plus PB. So PB is simply equal to 16 minus 12.5. So PB gives us the value of 3.5 units. Okay, so next is we focus on this triangle of PHF. Okay, PHF. Okay, so next is I have isolated this uh, triangle uh, PHF and the hypotenuse to be 12.5 minus R and one leg is R and the other leg is 3.5 plus R. Okay, so we can actually use a Pythagorean theorem. So we have one leg square, so R plus 3.5 square plus R square. The other leg is equal to uh, 12.5 minus r minus r square so we have here uh, r square uh, plus 7r plus uh, 12.25 plus r square is equal to this uh, binomial square so 156.25 minus 25r plus r square so we can actually cancel this r square and r square and uh, this becomes a r square and we combine like terms so we need to put this a negative 25 on the right hand side to the left hand side so this gives us a 7 plus 25 this gives us a 32 yes 32 and this uh positive 12.25 minus uh because this becomes negative 156.25 gives us uh, uh 144 so there should be r here is equal to zero and we are to solve this resulting quadratic equation
Okay, so we can actually solve this uh, quadratic equation by factoring. So we think of factors of 144 that will give us a sum of, uh, I mean, negative 144 will give us a sum of uh, positive 32, and that pair is actually 36 and negative 4. So we have R plus uh, 36 and R minus 4 is equal to 0. So apparently we have two solutions. So R plus 36 is equal to 0. And the other is R minus 4 is equal to 0. So R for the first instance is equal to negative 36. And the other is... Uh, r is equal to 4. So since we are looking for a distance, so this is only the valid uh, solution r is equal to 4 uh, units for the radius of this uh, blue circle. Okay, so now for the final step, so since we already have the radius of this uh, blue circle, so let's call the area to be a sub c is equal to pi times uh, r square. So ac is equal to pi times uh, 4 square. So ac is equal to, this is a 16 pi square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.